analysis of the origin of species. Lesson 1. Is a monkey our grandfather? Hello, how are you? The origin of species was written by English biologist Charles Darwin and first published in 1859. I am the author of the thorough analysis of the origin of species and an emeritus professor of Changju University in Korea, Kil Jung Yun. There would be no person that had never heard man has evolved from the monkey. If we gaze at the monkeys placed behind the steel barred window in the zoo and think that they are our grandfathers, our spirit of self-respect would be hurt. Today's title is, Is a Monkey Our Grandfather? Here, I will give you a lucid and reasonable answer to this question. On the street, there is a controversy on whether the creation is right or the evolution is right. The Bible begins with, in the beginning God created heavens and the earth. All Christians make professions of their faith with the apostolic creed, I believe in God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth in Jesus Christ. But there are lots of people to say that these are erroneous glaringly, and they assert everything in the universe was not created by God, but was produced of itself in the random and spontaneous process. I call them evolutionists. Before proceeding to the main issue, I have to define two terminologies, the evolution theory and the evolutionism, to be discussed in this lecture. The evolution theory, which was found out by Charles Darwin, is a tendency of nature that organisms vary. Evolution phenomena which are proceeded according to the second law of thermodynamics are noticeable easily in our surroundings and are able to be explained explicitly with the principle of the modern science. But the way of thinking that a man has evolved from a monkey was structured by the, by the intellectual power of human beings, being explained in detail in the later. Men who hold this view made a terminology chemical evolution, but there is no chemical evolution in science. In order to distinguish this line of thinking, from Charles Darwin's evolution theory, I call it evolutionism, and all people adhered to the idea of evolutionism will be called evolutionists by me. Evolutionism is not confirmed scientifically and there is no way to do so. Thus, evolutionism must be differentiated from the evolution theory. Evolutionists put the creation in contact with the evolution like a conflict between the creation and the evolution, a combat between the creation and the evolution, and a crisis of the creation, and say as if the creation is doomed to be abolished. If Genesis and the Apostolic Creed are wrong or erroneous, what do the pastors giving a sermon based on the Bible say? And what do the 
lay believers listen to. The former are big liars, and the latter listen to an untruth through life. And theologists are meant to study lies all their life. The fruit of my endeavor to resolve those doubters is a book, The Thorough Analysis of the Origin of Species. The first appearance of the evolutionism was just after The Origin of Species was published in 1859. In order to get proofs that organic beings vary, Charles Darwin circumnavigated the globe. The Origin of Species is not a book to explain any ideology or to deal with the trend of thought, but a science notebook recording all things that he observed and heard besides experimental facts by many other naturalists. Full understanding of the origin of species does not require philosophical speculation or deep meditation, but requires the fundamental knowledge of physics, chemistry, biology, geology, geography, genetics, taxology, morphology, embryology, and others. It's because it contains the objective tendencies of nature and scientific facts. It thus appears that it is a hard job for men who engaged in human studies, social science, philosophy, theology, and others to acquaint themselves thoroughly with the origin of species. Probably it would be not on tall talk that they cannot understand the origin of species fully. I have been living in and around natural sciences for last about 50 years. It gives me a better chance to understand the intrinsic value of the origin of species. I led open two original texts and four Korean versions side by side, and collating the original editions with the translate, translations, read them for eight months. After that, I could detect what the difference between creation and separate creation is, and that evolutionists who did not differentiate creation from separate creation misled the way of thinking of masses. So I resolved to show Charles Darwin's true meaning, which was distorted by the evolutionists and to make masses accurately understand the essence of the evolution theory. And I thought it is in my power to get rid of a speck of a cloud hiding the glory of the Creator, which was induced by evolutionists. The above is the motive I decided to write the thorough analysis of the origin of species. The evolution theory in biology is equivalent to the law of gravitation in physics in the weight. The evolution theory was a great academic achievement to correct the dogmatic and falsified knowledge that organisms are immutable. The main theme of the origin of species is species had not been created separately in a world. This is the core of understanding Charles Darwin. The perversion and the linguistic technique of evolutionists who could not see through the very core of Charles Darwin 
occasioned a dispute between the creation and the evolution. They made a false charge of the first originator of denying the creation against Charles Darwin, who had a great admiration for the grandeur of the creation. This consequence is due to the calumnies of evolutionists who are unable to clarify the distinction between creation and separate creation. Charles Darwin agreed entirely to the creation and unfolded his theory based on the creation. But evolutionists that failed to notice the exact meaning of a scientific term separately persisted that Charles Darwin was positive in denying the creation and what was worse they extended the meaning of the evolution to chemical evolution. There is no terms chemical evolution in science. Here it is the objective of this lecture to analyze and to comprehend the species had not been created separately precisely. This project consists of 31 lectures. I end today's lecture here. I hope you click subscribe button. See you the next. Shalom. Thank mm -hmm. you.